Okay, what are you gonna do? You're doing what? A chocolate egg. That was pretty good, Sophia. Nice work. How old are you? A two. You too. Good morning, everyone. So I just was thinking about this video that I posted this morning of Sophia cracking an egg. And I'm getting, um, you know, text messages. Of course, there's a lot of comments. And I'm getting text messages about how a two-year-old can crack an egg and how crazy that is. And it just got me thinking, like, this is truly a life lesson that you can apply from a toddler, right? Um, Hi, Jill. Good morning. Um, you know, I learn so much from her every day. And uh, the, the first time she wanted to crack an egg, we were making a cake. And, you know, I, I let her put in the flour, I let her put in the sugar and all of that. And then when we got to the egg, I said, oh, no, this is a mommy job. And so usually that's what I say to her when it's something like, you know, a hot stove or knives, <laughs> you know, um, this is a mommy job. And she was like, but mommy, I really want to crack an egg. And I went, you know what? What's the worst that can happen? She'll fail. She'll get shells in the cake. Like, I can pull it out. It's no big deal. But she's going to learn a lesson here. And so did I. So I let her crack the egg. And the first time I let her crack an egg, she looked like Godzilla crushing someone's skull. You know, she was like, <sighs> obviously, it didn't work out so well. Uh, there was a lot of shells and not a whole lot of egg. Egg was everywhere. But she learned. And so I said, okay, well, that didn't work. So let's try it this way. Can you crack it on the side of the bowl? And, you know, the next time she went to do it, she cracked it on the side of the bowl and she cracked it hard and it like split in half again, went everywhere, but she kept trying and we kept changing her approach. And now she'll sit there and she'll, like you saw this morning, she cracks it gently and opens it. And that only happened because she was willing to fail. And when she failed, she didn't go, oh, that's it. I'm never cracking an egg again. She failed and said, mommy, how can I do it better? or we changed her approach. And there's so many things you can learn in this. Obviously, one is failing forward, right? So she failed forward. Now she can crack an egg better than I can half the time. And she's two. I'm like, this is crazy. But it's not because she's a genius. It's because she failed enough times to get good at it. And failure is good. My dad and my mom just jumped on. They're the ones that taught me failure is good. Failure is how you learn. You don't grow if you don't fail. If you're so good at everything all the time and you never, ever fail, you are never, ever going to grow. And that's, you know, the point here. So you've got to, like, I don't know when in our adult life we became afraid of failure. We became afraid to um, crack that egg and get it all over the place. Like, Seriously, this is so silly. Like, don't be afraid of failing. Failing just means you're one step closer to success. That's it. The more failure you have, like in the business right now that I'm in um, with network marketing, I can talk to 100 people about joining me. And guess what? 10% are going to say yes. That's 90% failure rate. Like, that's a lot. That's a lot to deter a lot of people. But you know what? I'm okay with it because I'm, I'm ready to fail forward. I'm ready to get closer to the yes. I'm ready to get closer to the success and work with the people that want it. So that's it. Short little live this morning. But the lesson from the toddler here is fail. Fail forward and congratulate yourself with that failure. But the biggest part is you got to learn from it. Learn from it and readjust. Learn from it and readjust. Don't give up. Natalia just jumped on. Natalia is the map daddy at never giving up. She is my inspiration, my idol for never giving up. And um, I look to her for so many things and that is one of them. But that's the lesson here, guys. Fail. C celebrate the failure. Don't worry about it. Just change your approach. Keep changing your approach until you succeed. So that's it. Just a little quickie. Mwah.